from the age of just 10 years old. Tom Felton starred in the 1997 hit film The Borrowers, but of course famously played Harry Potter's nemesis Draco Malfoy from 2001 to 2011. Well, Tom joins us now, ahead of his new uh, YouTube sci-fi series, Origin, which was created by the producers of The Crown and Lost. Sure. I have never watched a Harry Potter film. What? You mean little to me in that context <laughs> as a Harry Potter star. Right. However, <laughs> however... He's not my, just digging a hole. My eldest son has never wanted to see me in action on this programme in his life has no interest in anything I've ever done in my life. But he has a Harry Potter tattoo, Yes, Spencer, and he has come in today at this ungodly hour just because he heard you were on the show. <laughs> there Can he is. The tat show us the Spencer. tattoo, then. There he is. He's actually got a Harry Potter tattoo. So I feel like, despite my own lack of interest... He has great taste. This is how far Harry Potter has permeated <laughs> the public consciousness when yes. my children are emblazoned with permanent <laughs> symbols of what you guys stand for. It's an amazing yeah. thing to have achieved, isn't it? <laughs> it is, definitely, yeah, and it's uh, always humbling. Thanks for coming in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the, the Harry Potter flame is not going anywhere anytime soon. It seems uh, I'm meeting new fans every, every day. We're going to get to, get to Origin, your, your new film, sure. uh, in a sec. What is it, what, serious, what is it like to be a Harry Potter star? It's such a phenomenon, globally. It's such a ridiculous phenomenon. To actually live it, to actually be one of the stars of it, how life-changing has it been for you? I mean, obviously, yeah, it has changed my life uh, beyond recognition, but at the same time, I don't really see myself as a Harry Potter star. I only feel like that when I sit here and get, and get questions <laughs> really? such as that, and, yeah. And have fans come into the studio. You've just come back from Comic-Con, of course. Yes, yes, these are the, these are the rare uh, examples where I truly feel uh, humbled by it, but also you really get to see the scope of yeah. the uh, the effect, really, that it's had on people's lives and continues to do so. It's interesting because we were just, you know, making that joke about G.I. Jane and right. whether it's fantasy or real, based on a real person. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, Piers Morgan, <laughs> you win. Um, <laughs> but of course, people do, the Harry Potter fantasy world, people really genuinely believe in it, don't they? When they talk to you at Comic-Con, they talk to you about it as if it's a real thing. Yeah, yeah well, it is to them, uh, very much so. The, the effects of the books and the films mm. is, is mm. you know, is, it spreads into their lives immediately. Uh, I mean, the amount of people that have had say that the books have either saved their life or have certainly influenced their life wow. in a massive way. And I get a lot of people saying thanks for being part of my childhood, which is... Uh, mm. An again, odd thing, isn't it? It's kind of, yeah, yeah, odd, but also, you know, they were part of mine. Without them going to see the films, then none of us would yeah. have even And it's it, given so. you the opportunity, of course, to pursue your dream. And you are now doing this series, Origin. Yes. Now, it's a YouTube Serious. Yes, YouTube Premium, yes. There's like a whole new world of getting to viewers, isn't there? That's right, yeah, they're doing their own scripted content now. It's about a spaceship called the Origin that's hurtling towards this new planet that we're trying to colonise. And uh, there's 500 passengers on board with the promise of, uh, of landing on this new planet and starting a whole new life, leaving, leaving the old world behind. Sounds but... a, a little bit like the trip that's planned to Mars. Where it uh, might take years and you may get there or not. Right, 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 right. Well, unfortunately for these chaps, they wake up prematurely um, before they get there and the whole ship has been evacuated, so it's a, bit, uh, a big mystery as to what's going on. When you were 11 years old, mm. uh, you got your first job was at a fishery in Dorking in Surrey. Yes. Uh, I was born very near there, in yes. Guildford. Uh, you were born in Epsom. Uh, for 20 quid a day, you'd pick up litter <laughs> and tidy fishing gear. Yes. Your dream job then was to own your own fishery. Yes. Instead, you became a Hollywood star and you live in LA. Do you still have a hankering to one day have your own fishery? If, uh, are you interested in going into business with me? <laughs> this could be a good start. I would go into business with you about anything, frankly. <laughs> You're a Harry Potter phenomenon. Um, no, no. Me, did, does that dream still lurk in your... Yeah, absolutely. I've always been an outdoor, outdoor boy. I mean, were you the same growing up in Guildford? Yeah. I mean, love fishing, I love cricket. Not love... very close to the sea, though. Well, lake fishing. This is a different, different type. Okay. Uh, What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Um, Every fisherman <laughs> goes off the screen. <laughs> Every fisherman has a big one, right? <laughs> That's right. I've lost, I've lost bigger ones. I'll say that. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the dream for you now, professionally? I mean, what would you like to really achieve that you haven't ticked off yet? Well, just taking it one day at a time, really. Something like Origin was a really great uh, opportunity for me to work with some some great young talent. With YouTube, this is one of their first shows, so, yeah. it's, so they have uh, the really you know trying new things out. And amazing for young actors, I would imagine, that there's now all these companies, yes. Amazon, 
Apple, yes. Netflix, YouTube. Mm, sure. So it's all changed, is not it? I mean, in the old days, if you had to get mm, a big mm. studio behind you to make a movie, mm. now it can be any one of these companies. Yes, yeah, I think it's fantastic. Look at the quality of, of TV that's come out in the last decade mm. and, and the variety, like you said, there's so much out there now. Um, yeah, I think it's a great thing. It's good for us. I mean, there's more actors for hire, so... Well, well it certainly is. Uh, Tom, you've had a great career. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> All the very best me. with it. And as I say, you managed to achieve the miracle of getting my son up at this ungodly <laughs> hour to actually come in and watch his father perform. No interest in me. Only cares about you. Just a humbling moment for all really parents. Nice to see you. Thank but you good very to see you. Much. Thanks, Thank mate. you. All the Take very care. best Thanks, with mate. Origin. <sighs> Am I off? <laughs> <laughs> well, have a, have a seat right. there. You can go sit on the sofa and talk to my son. <laughs> Make his day.